Are you here for the room reveal? Go figure. Me too. <laughs> Let's go. Inspire me to be the highest me. Mommy motivation. Welcome, beautiful people, to another episode of Dr. Z Lessons. I say episode because I feel like I've been on this journey of working out this homeschool space for quite some time. I think this is the final episode, but it feels like it's taken a good minute. You know, in YouTube land, it's like quick, in a hurry, you see a video, you're like, oh, they just did that. No, nah, but you don't know how many months it took. So we are at the end. Uh, I am so glad that you've joined us. If you are new here, I'm Z. I share lessons in faith, family, and fulfillment. I hope that by sharing my lessons, it helps you to embrace your own. I am um, doing a highlight on my earrings. A beautiful mama got me these and I love them. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm glad you're here. We started out with a multi-purpose room uh, that was literally being used for everything just because it was the biggest, one of the biggest spaces and we needed to just store stuff. And so now going on four years into homeschooling, we decided to make it a little bit more functional for our family in that we could have a homeschool space, a play area, space as well as have our family to come over during those special events and feel like they too could have a space to throw a, a pull out couch or a, a, a air bed let's just be clear an air bed or something real simple that could give them the space that they need while they're here too so we um are at the end of that and i can't wait to show you guys that please like share and subscribe if you like this video hope you'll hang out with us for a while and stay tuned for the reveal where we show you everything we've done with this space as always you can go back and watch all of the parts to see how we did each piece of our homeschool series but i thank you guys for tagging along with us along the way let me know what's your favorite part put that in the comments below what do you like i won't share what i like because i don't want to influence but let me know what your favorite part of the homeschool space is. We have one special addition. I'm sure you saw from the thumbnail that it is a rock wall that we created for our kids. I have a son who um, really needs activity and really needs time outside. He loves outdoors and um, he's always been a climber and that climbing has just been my furniture and my walls and my everything. And so I thought, well, let's embrace what's in him and not try to squelch it uh, by trying to have cute stuff. But let's give him something where he can be that climber that he is. And so although this rock wall is going to be everything for everybody, uh, even me, I'm gonna get up on it. But um, it's especially something unique for him. We did some flooring as well because I needed a space for my little girls to be able to do their Play-Doh because my carpet is not a friend of Play-Doh and yet it is stuck everywhere. And so I wanted a mat that could multi, kind of serve multiple purposes as a Play-Doh mat, a toy area, a reading area. It could just kind of be all the above um, while also keeping my son from breaking any bones on this rock wall. Initially, I was going to let that be it. But um, I realized that I couldn't just do this homeschool space and leave the closet as um, under construction as it's been. And I figured I can't call this a remodel and not let you see those spaces as well because the truth is, as mamas, we have a lot of things that we contend with that aren't cute, that aren't uh, tightly knit together and suited for the viewing audience. And yet there are still things that we go through and there are yet still things that shape us, that teach us valuable lessons, that help us to be frail, that help us to embrace those imperfect places of our lives, to still know that we can make it, to see ourselves on the other side of it. So I'm gonna try to see myself on the other side of this closet. Um, and partly why I didn't wanna show it to you is because I didn't know what was gonna jump out at the screen and at me at the same time, but we gonna get into it. So here's my avalanche of a closet. I'm so glad we survived this first step. So I'm going to walk my way through this layer of pile on, hopefully by chatting with you. I also thought it'd be good to just talk about what are some things I would tell my first year homeschool self now that I have come through that journey, what would I say? And so yeah, I'm just gonna chit chat with you as we um, tackle this together. So I'm going to go through this closet and I decided to make it my um, 
my room of gratitude as I go through these things where I can reflect on and be grateful for the good things that I've been able to come through and even in hard places to overcome. And if I were able to give a note to my first year homeschool self, I would say, chill out. It's going to be worth it. And it may not look like it now, but there is a gift called time that has a way of bringing us to a place of humility and gratitude and gratefulness and love and um, appreciation for the moments that we get to spend with our children. Uh, I would tell myself, laugh more. It's okay to cry. It's okay to experience the emotions of a roller coaster of unknown on this journey. I would tell that self. You were woman before you were mother, and your identity is still uh, intact even as you take on this role of motherhood. Don't lose her. Don't feel like you have to put her to the side, neglect her. You can embrace her while embracing the journey of learning what it is to be a mother. And so what do I say to you, mamas? I'd say there's no progress without a start. So whatever you're starting with, whatever is in your hands, Whatever dream, whatever idea, whatever undertaking that you are embracing or needing to um, take on today, start. Start the journey. Record and chronicle the lessons. Grow. Give yourself permission to fail. Own where you are so that you have a point of reference to where you can go. So I'm ashamed to say this is what happens when you go through a closet you haven't been through enough. And you start finding gift cards that you had never used, phones you never took out of the package. Yeah, this is why it's necessary to declutter. Who missing out on movies because they're not going through their closets? This is a celebration. Take a moment of silence and just take in everything that you were trying to avoid doing. You might find some blessings in the girls. They never wore this bow. They missing out on the bow. Just missing out on it. As I keep trying to part with all of these bags, but the truth is, I just feel like when I let them go, I'm going to dig them. All the different sizes get bags. So I have parted with a lot. It's, it's like a good amount for girls, right? And then, got kind of some boys and universal ones. I, if I can convince myself that it won't get messy, it's going to work, right? Now, work this like the cutest bag. So each one of these bins are being used to house something that we use during our homeschool day. I wanted to be able to keep them out of the reach of my toddler while still being able to easily access them. So I'm going to use this closet to do that. Well guys, here we are with the final reveal. We'll start at the entrance. I don't know if you guys remember me getting this from the dollar store, but it did not spin and I was able to create this spinning motion where the kids can come in and pick an area that they want to focus on, try new things. I love this and I love that it is now mobile. <laughs> so coming right in, our little trash can. These are our supply bins for the kids where all of their curriculum that they can pull from and use daily is housed. This was our floating desk DIY table. And of course, these cute little chairs. And you can't forget Mama Bear. And here's my bunnies with all of the kids' signature names on them from their grandma. And we are loving these toy storage bins. It keeps everything very neat and organized. Can't say enough about how I'm loving those. Our little family rules sign. 
evening. Remember these maps where we'll be able to scratch off as we learn about a location, particularly as we are beginning to study the United States. And we just couldn't get enough of these bins, so we ordered another one. And then we've got our world map. Yes. And then this is that map. But I'm so surprised by this beautiful texture mat that can be used for so many different purposes. And it leads us right into the rock wall. to Lovey, our bird of paradise plant that is taking off and growing even as we speak. This gives you to Mama's Corner where I am reminded that this space is going to be and continue to be a place of love. And that is where we are building all of our homeschool things out of love. And I am elite learning, learning alongside my children. And this is where we store some of the things that I use with them daily. Oh, and you guys, we finally get to get into this closet. <laughs> I took these, um, what are they called? Baby wipe containers that I've had for years, spray painted the front of them and added some labels to them so I could store things that I don't want my toddler to get a hold of. And we have our morning basket and then our learning DVDs and there are our bins that we'll need to use and pull out as needed. That one has my teacher tools like my laminator and glue gun and things of that nature. Of course providing a space for when guests come so that they also have some room in this space. This closet is small but it looks so much bigger with the organization. My birthday um or celebration bags, you know, I couldn't resist. I also have balloons saved in there, things I use for different parties that I will recycle. These are all their board games that they use. And then I'm housing their first and second grade curriculum, curriculum that we're not using yet, but will use. And then the best part I think of this closet is I got this from the dollar store. And it's one of those kind of shoe racks, I want to say. Uh, but I was able to put all of the paper that we use, dividers, construction paper, colored paper, line paper, all sorts of paper, as well as my sheet protectors, which I use a lot, all in one place. And I love that it can be detachable so that if I have guests here, I can get it out the way so they have a closet space. And then finally, our wall, chalkboard wall. we can do all of our learning and doodling and drawing and questions of the day everything all from this wall and uh yeah so that's it guys thank you all for being a part of this journey don't forget to let me know what is your favorite part of this space what do you like most and if you're a homeschooling mama, just remember that whatever you have, as long as you have love, you are going to be quite all right in your homeschool journey. You guys have a blessed day. Yeah, you can do it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pick your foot on the blue one. Pick your foot on the red one. Mommy motivation.